morning and namaste everyone. A very warm welcome to all of you. Welcome to the sixth episode of Coca-Cola Presents You Dialogue by Glocal Private Limited. I am Sarupak Rel, the moderator of today's panel discussion. And today we'll be hosting a very interactive discussion on the topic, advocating for the sustainable management of water resources. Today we are here at the premises of Thames International College and we are very delighted to host this special episode because today is March 22 and we are celebrating World Water Day with the slogan, Groundwater Making the Invisible Visible. So we'll talk more about these topics, but before that, I would like to take this moment to welcome our panelists with you all. Firstly, I would like to introduce them to you. We have Dr. Deepa Karyal, who is the professor and head of department from Central Department of Hydrology and Metrology, Trivon University. Likewise, we have Ms. Anisha Karn, who is the CEO at Smart Pani Private Limited Nepal. Likewise, we have our other panelists is Ms. Susmita Mishra, who is the Regional Youth Focal Point for Central and South Asia in Water and Climate Coalition. Like I mentioned earlier, today is World Water Day and water is very precious to us. It's a fundamental of our life and today we'll be having a very a different perspective on water management because this is a very important thing for all of us. So before I move on to the respective uh, perspective from all of you, I would just like to know from you all, like what are you currently working on in the areas of water management? I would like to start with uh, Dr. Deepak sir. Is that okay? Uh, we are in between about to good afternoon. But still, good morning to all. Uh, are you okay? Yes, sir. Nobody are positive uh, COVID? No. Okay, we are in COVID free zone. Nice to meet you again. I'm Deepak. Uh, I am working in the field of hydrology and meteorology. My basic uh, area of research is meteorology, not hydrology, but hydrology is somehow the part of meteorology. And currently I am working as a head of department of hydrology and meteorology uh, that may be sometime uh, in our uh, normal practice in Tribune University. It is central department of hydrology and meteorology in, in, it, which is located inside Kirtipur. And this is from everybody, students, teachers, they all go from the science background, not from uh, humanities, not from management. And, uh, about uh, my discipline, uh, normally students, those who pass they are plus two, just like uh, plus two science, science ma pass kare konsa. Then they join BSc, uh, BSc meteorology. We have a, in Nepal, we have meteorology BSc in Trivandrum University, Trishan campus, and in Biratnagar, uh, Mahindra, Mahindra Morang. I think somebody are from eastern side here. I think she is also, she knows uh, eastern part of Nepal. So uh, we only have two campuses. And for masters, we start in uh, Tribune University. Uh, we are current. We have currently about uh, 150 bachelor, uh, about 50 master student, and five PhD students. Among five, they are about to be three. Two are getting PhD. Within one is within this month. So this is our status of educations. And uh, today and tomorrow we are celebrating the Water Day as well as tomorrow is the, the World Meteorological Day. Uh, we are very happy when uh, Susmita. Susmita is from uh, WMO. She is working there. She may tell more about WMO things, uh, although she is not working for meteorology. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this year, what I decide is uh, normally we have a lot of gatherings, a lot of meetings from the morning to evening. So this year, I have decided to be with uh, ground students, just like uh, the all day, starting from 11 o'clock this morning to tomorrow, almost midnight, I will be with students in the field and in the talk and uh, uh, in seminars. In Tomorrow I'm taking one class also at uh, department. Some of you are, if you are, if any of you are interested to learn a little bit about these things, you are welcome to join tomorrow also. So we, we, this is our celebration time. Let's celebrate. 
don't hesitate that you are not from uh, water and water related uh, students because water is very very much uh, essential for everybody and uh, today as I think mainly aki here ko thi online samachar ma Nepal ko rastrapati ma lepani pani ko srot ko samrachan karnu manera bandh bakore sa the world water day ko chahi upalakshya ma as well as prime minister lepani jal bandar ko chahi samrachan karnu parsa manera bandh baat sa abo tapay rota vidarthi parkhar pornau nu bakosa undergrad. Mostly undergrad, तब मतलब यो भी सेवा में लेसी कहीं रहने पड़ते हैं ना ऑलेस लगता। तो during travel, during my seminar, during my presentation, during my research, I have been almost all of the world, and I am happy to share with you that I enjoy a lot of fancy hotels, every hotels, every luxurious hotel, and even minor hotels. There is one board at the gate. तो होटल को रूम को योर डा कोट हमारे से के दो काम से योर डा सूचना टास्य कौन सा सके समो पानी धीरे कंप्रेस करनुस धारा हरु लीक भाग सके त्योपनी अरनुस अनितेश पची त्यो हमें लाई कुने कुने मात्र पांच छह वटा नहीं दिन सन टावेल हरु दिन आखिरी इफ यू डोंट वांट टू यूज दो दो ऑल आई हैव राइट आई कैन यूज ऑल ट जो एक छुट्टी बाहर गए बने सामने वो टा टॉवेल कर यूज़ करते हैं उन फैल दें दैट्स माय राइट बट इफ यू स्टिल डोंट वांट टू यूज़ दैट प्लीज कीप इन अ सेम पोजीशन सो दैट वी डोंट नीड टू वॉश अगेन फॉर दैट वी कैन सेव ड्रेनेज वी कैन ड्रेनेज हेल्थ एस वेल एस वी कैन सेव द वाटर uh, at Smart Pani, we've been uh, working for the past decade in a lot of solutions that surrounds water. We are popularly known for uh, the company that started rainwater harvesting. How do you actually capitalize rainwater and instead of letting it flow into the rivers and probably causing floods in the southern part of our country and then to the neighbors, why not use it? There is a very easy and economical way to capitalize all the rainwater that is falling on all of our rooftop for free and actually save money in the same time. I mean, all of us here, don't you guys think that ironically, though we are very rich in hydro sources, but water is a huge issue, isn't it? How many of you buy tankers here at home? None? Don't know because mom does it. Water is difficult, not just in this city, but it is expanding across the country. Trust me, I've traveled from east to west, and you would think that up in the mountains, the water situation would be better, but it is not actually. Even they are looking at how can we get a boring, how can we use the groundwater. So after using our free-flowing sources, now we're tapping into our groundwater. And the theme being that this year, even groundwater is depleting massively. So at Smart Pani, we also recognize that and we work with partners like Coca-Cola Nepal to recharge the groundwater. We have other solutions where we reuse the water, you you know, the water that you use for your shower, laundry that comes out of your kitchen, you could actually filter and reuse that. So we have a broad spectrum of solutions where we want to give the kind of respect that water deserves and, you know, encourage people, encourage youth, encourage every segment of society to understand that and start thinking of sustainable ways of water solutions. I think that's it for now. Yeah, I would like to go with uh, Susmita Ma'am. So first of all, I would like to start by asking you all, how many of you knew before you came in here in this room today that 22nd March is World Water Day? OK, I can see the nodding on most of you. OK, so how many of you know what is the theme for World Water Day 2022? OK, I can see, the, see from your complexions that most of you are still not aware of it. So World Water Day, the theme for World Water Day 2022 is groundwater making the invisible visible. So 
Uh, for me, uh, currently I'm working at the Water and Climate Coalition. Uh, I'm looking over the youth constituency for as a regional youth focal point for Central and South Asia. And uh, through my position or through the coalition, as Sir already put me in a position to give more information about what World Meteorological Organization is doing. So uh, uh, when 2018, um, SDG 6 synthesis report came out, it quoted that um, the SDG 6, that is clean water and sanitation, the world is off track in meeting the SDG 6 goal by 2030. So that is when uh, World Meteorological Organization along with UN Water and nine other UN agencies came together to focus and accelerate the water uh, action decade. So under uh, my position, I'm working, we are working to bring together youths like you from each background, from every corner of the world into a platform, into a federation where we can capacitate youths and also uh, work on how we can accelerate the water action decade. That is 20, that the water action decade is uh, the uh, decade from 2018 to 2028. So me to meet the SDG 6 goals, we are working on uh, through the coalition, bringing to, uh, together youths into the same platform. So thank you. So uh, let me just uh, put the follow-up thing for this, like as you uh, emphasize on the slogan for this year's World Water Day, uh, I would like to uh, pass this question to Anissa ma'am, like could you like to share about what should be the individual's role for the sustainable water management practices? See, there's uh, always something that each of us can do, right? We can complain that the government is not doing anything or there are other organizations involved and they're not doing anything, but it is, there's always something that each of us here can do. And all of us are paying the price of having water scarcity, the problem of water at home, you know? I mean, a lot of our, you guys might not be, but maybe your parents are waking up in the middle of the night to switch on the motor to pump water that comes from the city supply or you know frantically following up with the water tanker guys to come and give because that last drop of water in your tanks is running out so there's always something that you guys can do very very small things from you know recognizing that where are the ways that we can use less water close the tap while you're brushing take shorter showers probably you know from the aspect that encourage your parents, if they have not thought of rainwater, maybe go and tell them today. Today is your day to go back and tell them that, have you thought of what do we do with the free falling water that, is, uh, on, that falls on our rooftop? There are very easy ways of actually capitalizing those things. And you know what will happen if you use rainwater? It is an alternate source. Then you will use less of the groundwater, which will last longer, probably for a couple of more generations, because at the rate we are using it right now, I don't think my kids are going to see the groundwater that Kathmandu has or the urban cities uh, have in this country. So it's very important that we think of alternate ways. We think of how to conserve water. We think of alternate ways of water that we can use. I mean, the rainwater that is falling on your garden on your paved, in your garages or anywhere, put it back into the ground. Instead of letting it go into the drainage, put it back into the ground. There are systems that can, there are very easy systems that can be built for at a household level that will help uh, recharge the groundwater back. Have more open spaces. Tomorrow, you guys will make your own homes, you know. Instead, I know that the value of land is skyrocketing in this city and the same is following. But maybe has as much, have as much as green space as possible that will help replenish groundwater. I mean, there are other ways of conserving water and at the same time even conserving environment by not using plastic or bottled water as much as possible. Maybe you carry your own bottle, uh, refill it wherever possible. So there are small things that we can do at an individual level that will help. Not even talking about you know, bigger and broader aspects and policies and plans that can be uh, done to turn the whole city green. There are concepts of green infrastructure that is booming across the globe. If you look at New York, Bangkok, uh, they are slowly moving towards turning their entire city green. So that is something that can be done from the government level, but at individual level, there are small and basic things that we all can do. 
Thank you. Uh, Dr. Arler, would you like to add a few things about what should be the individual role in uh, sustainable water management practices? For you. Yeah. This goes to me? Yes. Okay, uh, just before starting this, I think uh, I have to twist a little bit uh, the subject, uh, this subject, uh, these questions. To, do you, does anybody know how much water we are getting from which source? Does anybody know of any, anybody has any idea? No, okay. Uh, have you ever heard about uh, rainfall this morning, maybe radio or television, the forecast or the uh, yesterday's for, um, uh, weather information? Did you, anybody heard about the water, how much rain we get? No. Nobody listen about weather and this uh, information, right? Climate information. So in Nepal, we have a uh, different area. Nepal is a different area. Nepal is a different area. Nepal Nepal is a different area. Nepal is a different area. Nepal is a different area. Nepal Nepal is a different area. 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 Nepal is a different I don't know. 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 I do and Kathmandu normally receives 1500 millimeter precipitation. This is the same thing. 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 This is if you accumulate those all water at a place, you water going to go to the water. If you are going to the water, you are going to go to the water. If you are going to go to the water, you are the I mean, the panic of the same, the same, the same, the same, the same, the same, the the same, the same, the the same, the same, the same, the the same, the the same, the same, the same, the same, the same, the same, the the we have snowflake rivers, so many snowflake rivers. So besides those things, if we only preserve the rainwater, we have enough. No need to blame anybody. So and that's the thing. We have to study at least a little bit about these things. You don't have in course. Don't worry, you can separately study these things. Huh? Okay. So, uh, my next question goes to Ms. Mishra. So, how long have you been into this field of climate activism and uh, about the water management practices, how you have been advocating this context? Would you like to share some ideas about it? Um, I started my climate activism journey like 13 years back, when I was back in high school. So, um, but when I got into water, it was uh, most probably six months earlier, it hasn't been long, but I felt that water scarcity and um, working into water is a really important issue right now. And as a hamdrozo so this ko kura garnu parda kheri sai, Nepal ko context ma kura garni hone, climate change ko lagi or let's say climate issues aru ma sai, Nepal is one of the least uh, emitters of carbon emissions. There are, I mean, there's a vulnerability assess assessment my new one. Nepal falls in fourth most vulnerable country. This must say, I'm say drought, landslide, everyone is I'm say, you say, it's the anticipated uh, disasters, everyone say climate induced, sir. And this was she, I say, for water management, Kokura, Rugarda, Hiri say, 
नेपाल में से आइले पनी हम रोधुरगम ठाउ है रूम आसे वेमेंस और यंग गर्ल्स दे मिस आउट स्कूल्स और वहाँ है रूसे वेमेंस है रूसे आइले पनी फोर टू फाइव आवर्स से वॉकिंग हिडे रसे वहाँ है रूसे एक जार पानी को लगी और एक गागरो पानी लीना को लाइसे वहाँ है आइले पनी फोर टू फाइव आवर्स इट नोन्स सो लेट्स us in their place and assume हमेंले से एकदम ही बाहर एकदम ही गांव बटा आ कुसों घर आई पुगे हो रहा पानी खाऊं मंदा हरी एक ग्लास पानी सही ना नहीं हमेंला कुछ तो उनसे let's imagine that अन्य अब यही कुरा से हमेंले से को हमरे ही देश में से हमें यहाँ बसी रहे कुसों तो हमरे ही देश में से आइले पनी women's or let's say girls are young girls they are missing out educations why कि ना नहीं उन्हें ले से पढ़ना लाई जाने ही टाइम से उन्हें ले से पानी बोकना को लाई जगह ही रखनु पड़े को सर सो सो हाउ हैव यू बीन एडवोकेटिंग फॉर द सस्टेनेबल वाटर मैनेजमेंट सॉरी सो मेरो लागी से वाटर मैनेजमेंट में से माले आउनु को मेन एजेंडा बने को नहीं मेरो लागी से योटा से स्ट्राइकिंग पॉइंट उन सनी यही थ कि हाउ वेमेंस एंड गर्ल्स आर स्टिल फेसिंग दिस इश्यूज अंदर से वैसे आजा हम ले से नेपाल से हम रो से हिंद को सिमालेन रीजन में पड़ सा एंड वी हैव वी हैव आउट ऑफ़ फोर्टीन वर्ल्ड्स हाईएस्ट पिक्स में से हम रो से एट हाईएस्ट पिक्स से नेपाल में पड़ी रहा है को सो वी हैव एवरेस्ट सो माउंटेन्स को कुरा is in uh, that is available on uh, earth this must say i'm um, 71 percent water say that is salt water so till they keep by eco i'm risen three sorry 97 uh, percent is um, ocean water and till they buy eco three percent that is fresh water this company i'm going say um two percent water say to the himalaya himalaya is my as in the form of snow sir so preserving snow uh, preserving water sources is quite important. This mati pani groundwater is very essential. Kino ani groundwater bani ko say it is fresh. If you, what I have uh, come to know or what I have seen so far is that young people or even educated young people they do not know the difference between fresh water and ocean water. Yes, there is 97 percent of. Um, water is there in the ocean and that covers around 71 percent of earth but you cannot drink salt water you need to have fresh water to uh, which is accessible or which can be drank so finding the difference between fresh waters and fresh waters surface water ground water so why uh, even for this year we have the theme of ground water is because we need to understand its value तब वाले से सब सहारे न अफ्रीका में आए नॉन सवाने ग्राउंड वाटर इस सो सो मच पेनिट्रेटेड कि इट इस मोर पेनिट्रेटेड दैन हियर इन एशियन रीजन साउथ एशियन रीजन में से 57 परसेंट से ग्राउंड वाटर से पेनिट्रेट वही रहा है क्योंकि व्हेन इवन इन केस ऑफ नेपाल वी हैव वी से दैट हमें लिए तो बच्चे दे ही पड़ी � Water resources country one era, but where is it? Hamile say oily pani Nepal ma say around 80 percent say water say accessible every household ma say accessible 80 percent water say accessible so clean drinking water one ago so but still not all of this is safe drinking water so to come and to bring all of these issues together and to bring some solutions to these problems I have been uh, really uh, engaged in water related issues. Thank you. thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your experience as well. Uh, my next question goes to Ms. Karna. Like, you have been into this space for long. You have been working and providing smart solutions for water management practices. Like in the video earlier, we also saw like Smart Pani has been working on that sector. How do you feel about the overall awareness about water management in the youth sector majorly? Well, how many of you knew that you could probably use rainwater? Probably yes. So what I feel is awareness is not lacking in the younger generation, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, for those, the paying generation who's actually responsible for making those decisions, uh, the awareness is not optimal. And, um, but still, I think it's been promising and a lot of people have been thinking about it. But I think 
knowledge is not lacking amongst the youth. Probably, uh, that's the hope that we have. You know, when you guys uh, reach the decision-making ages, you it won't be so difficult to convince you on uh, adopting these kind of solutions. So I think uh, that is where the hope lies. Uh, it's not just the country that is looking. Uh, up to you guys, but it is every sector, uh, the climate, the earth, and everyone's looking that uh, the future generation would probably turn the course of climate change. You know, Look at what we're uh, talking about right now. It's not just the wars uh, that is hiking up fuel prices, but the fuels are going to go really, they're going to finish up. And that's why EVs are, you see so many of these EVs in the market. But the aspect of climate is going to trickle down to each one of us, and all of us will be affected with it. It is a hope that you all are more aware and conscious about it, and you actually put it into practice. It's not, knowledge is not enough. You know. It is very important that you actually make something out of it. So uh, I think the youth knows. It's about how active they are in actually practicing those things. That will count. Yeah. So I would like to uh, ask another question to Dr. Arya. Like uh, you have been into the academic sector, like for working, uh, like for the students as well, because there are a lot of students who are interested in hydrology and metrology, and they have been enrolled in TU as well. Like, how, what are the career post prospects that the students get, like after they are into the sector, after they study the water management things, or after they are into this hydrology and metrology part? About the career prospect for students? This is a very difficult question to answer because about 50% of our product, they disappear. That doesn't mean that they go to another planet. They are in the same earth, but in the different country. We, we make a lot of people to be to product a graduate in hydrology or meteorology, after getting degree, their first target is US. And the second is their Europe, China, Japan, and eventually, if they don't get any chance in these regions, they, then they try to disappear around other countries in Asia. So this is our defect. Inside Nepal, those products, our products, they are mainly working in forecasting, groundwater division of it. Uh, I think it is under the Ministry of Energy and Department of Hydrology and Meteorology. Most of you know about this, thing, uh, this department because every news, they carry the news of the weather and uh, climate in the each episode. Maybe in the morning, in the evening, each hour, they give the information about these things. Our students are working in there. And some of the students, they are working in different INGOs, NGOs. Uh, and uh, many of them are now, they are already themselves the technocrats. They have some company. They generate some rain gauze. They, they make some... Uh, instrument for the meteorological and hydrological sciences. They are making and they are buying some uh, parts from uh, outside Nepal, so they are doing, they are partially they are in business. So most of our products, they are in a good position all around the earth, not outside the earth. Sure, thank you, sir. So we are coming at the end of today's EU dialogue. Before we wrap up, I would like to know, uh, like, what do you suggest to youths of our country for the water management? What can they do? And then we wrap up to Anisha. Well, I think I have spoken a lot about what uh, all of us can do here. Uh, but yeah, think about water. Like, think every drop that you use, think that it is going scarce. And the coming generations, your brothers and sisters might not have enough for themselves. So. Think on every possible way to conserve it. You know, Think of alternate ways of how you can capitalize on water. Think of alternate sources. Give respect to the water that it actually deserves. We take it for granted, you know. We take it granted that water is there. Have you thought of, I mean, come on. We've, in our lifetime, seen a couple of months of the 
blockage, we've seen, seen the earthquake, we've now seen a pandemic. We've lived without kerosene, gas, petrol, a lot of things, but life would just be very difficult without water. So it's very important to think about that. And I mean, the future lies in your hand. You all are going to form the next generation. And I really believe that that's going to be the generation that can turn uh, the world around. So just be cautious and be aware. Think of all your actions and the repercussions it can have. Just give water the respect that it actually deserves. Yeah, Ms. Misra, from you. Um, as Anisha ji already said, it's the same. So building on to that, I would say, don't take water or climate as a very technical issue. It is, it is very common. It is a general issue. It is what we live in and what we live for. If you don't have a glass of water to drink, what are you going to do? If you don't have food served in your table, what are you going to eat? So everything is what goes around comes around. Today you waste one tank of water just singing and daydreaming in the shower. Tomorrow you're going to have scarcity of water and it's not going to be for your next generation. It can come back to you in your life, in your generation. Because while the data says that if this is how we are going to use the water, it would go, the scarcity would increase by 1% up until 2030. So that's a lot. And you may not have, you know, more water to even have a very basic shower. Like you may be like, okay, let's just have it in a hurry, let's just have a quick shower and you may not have water, you may not have a wa bottle of water to drink. What if you'll just need to carry a bottle of water and you'll have to last it for a week? We've seen pandemic, how it, how it came. What if we get some sort of waterborne diseases? What are we gonna do? So yeah, let's be cautious, let's say water, because it is not for our future generations only, it is for us as well. Thank you. Thank you. And lastly, from Dr. experience uh, <laughs> Teaches like Ule Arcade Dehne, Ule Arcade Dehne, just time, little garden mill than any. I mean, science work I'm going to answer. That only Ramailo Kuramotala on two. Mira Male, Egagri Pani Biano, only Bilka. Do you got Ripani now the Hedi? I mean, Sadzanako Podivar Lake, Hakit him, Bosagate him. I know. Twenty twenty go get him, I mean, I know. No, 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 on the Cote Dunga, the Haratir, no one going just to Laksaka, Kale, Nova the Hin Ali, Igri Lotale, a so Tabasago Pusere in him just to Laksa. Oily, Samane Tayatavaru, Bosne Gorma, I assume everybody are living in their own house. I know Samane Tayapasota Daro Dorit. Potasota Valla, we know, we know, we know, we know, who eta hot water rounds, Uta cold water rounds, Uta sour, so commode sprays. And he come out Mazito, Floss Garisaki, Sipari, Nigar, the Hedi, Yoda toilet Massat, Arthur Daronso. Eh? Taroko point out the Naparini. And overall, Garmati, Pachasoda Daramati, Yuta Daramati, Sipis Gurna, Payavan, a penny, Mathi Tanki, Gopani, the Savasakinsa. Still now, everybody are using the upstairs tank, eh? Nepalma, to the Aru system Gopani Audina, Geneva Mazasto, America Mazasto Audina. America was direct to Pani. Kamarani source for supply on the system, so Nepal Mata, Mati Gaira, forceful Lizay Aunio. The same Amile, you aspect Pony Hero, eh? Amile, Amido Abnal, way of life, say, Ekdomi, Terizi, luxurious Bono de Leragasum, I know, more I lay in Tama Rubanda, Adi Umirkomanci, or Namani, or Jacob, or Zepodiola, I know, Topergo is some of the Hirito, or Pahegopani Sakina Lago, one yes. अनि म अहिले चाहिँ दुई गागरोबाट 50 वटा धारा बनाएको छु तपाईहरुले 100 वटा बनाउनु भने पानी के होला त हैन अनि पानीको स्रोत त त्यही नै हो हैन छन् चाहिँ छ तल अलि त्यति नाथिनुस् 
वहाँ भनी सकू अलि है ग्राउंड वाटर चाहे अज तुरंत सकि तईपनी स्नोफेड रिंग वाटर चाहे सकने संभावना धेरे मैं धेरे स्प्रिंग ड्राई भाग देखी सकता छूँ ग्लेशियरम काम कर ग्लेशियर मोडलिंग ग्लेशियर को उसको काम कर ग्लेशियर अलग रिट्रीट भैस है तो एकदम रोए बस्ने तो होना स्ट्रगल तो करें अरेबियन भी बांच तरप हमी हम वे अफ लाइफ स्टाइल अलग सोचना पर्स पानी को दृष्टिकोण ने भाई मेरे कुछ हो Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much to all our respected panelists for your insights and for your experience sharing. Really, water is really important to us. And as we said uh, about today's slogan of World Water Day, that's about groundwater. We emphasized about how we can conserve groundwater. And as the slogan insists, groundwater is invisible, but its impacts are visible. That was shared by our panelists already. And out of the sight, under our feet, groundwater is a hidden treasure. Treasure that is very important to our lives, and almost all the liquid fresh water of the world is groundwater. Therefore, it's our duty to conserve and preserve, and also ascertain the sustainable water resource practices. We need to work together to sustainable manage our water precious resources because water is the essential building block of our life, and it's very important. So, thank you, everyone. Here completes our sixth episode of Coca-Cola presents You Dialogue by Local Private Limited. Limited. We'll be back with another exciting new episode next month. Till then, stay tuned and you can also follow our YouTube and Facebook. Thank you. Thank you for sharing.